As someone who's actually served in the military, we understand, and I think that you would both agree, General Milley and Secretary Austin, that if an officer has a dereliction of duty, there are many articles which could remove him for that reasoning. Is that correct? Correct. And do we understand that? My definition and understanding of dereliction of duty is a person's purposeful or accidental failure to perform his obligations. Do we agree with that? And there's also willful dereliction of duty, which in my opinion is nothing more than a failure through negligence. Now, Secretary Austin, we have seen where we have failed to secure a status of forces agreement during Iraq withdrawal, which has now allowed ISIS to retake key locations in Baghdad. We have Afghanistan in the control of the Taliban, Haqqani Network, ISIS Khorasan, with billions of dollars in weapons, armament, defense articles, millions of dollars in cash, thereby actually creating probably one of the most well-funded and well-positioned terrorist organizations in the world, even though our intent in going to Afghanistan was actually to stop it from being a safe haven of terrorism. We have Libya, which is controlled by a UN-backed government that faces challenges from militia groups who threaten the stability across the entire region. And we have Syria, which is fractured between the Assad regime, the Russian military, militia groups, and ISIS, plus the United States continuing to be the recipient of missile and rocket attacks that's resulted recently in the loss of American lives. And as my colleague, Representative Johnson, had pointed out, also not abiding by law. Many of these things are very personal to me. One is a United States Army combat veteran myself, but one in understanding that leadership is to lead by example. And in my opinion, that example has not been very strong. That is why we have 8,400 people who is purged as a result of the vaccine, which I find to be unconstitutional, and support them being reinstated with full pay, back benefits, and their ability to serve their country, not the political agenda. But Afghanistan is near and dear to my heart because before I ran for, when I was running for Congress, actually, and before I was an elected member, I helped to conduct one of the very first successful overland rescues of Americans who were left behind in this botched withdrawal. And we also know that there was officers who were deployed and military members who were deployed, like Sergeant Vargas Andrews, who could have actually have engaged and taken out the suicide bomber in Afghanistan at the Abbey Gate, but had no rules of, no escalation of force and no rules of engagement to be able to do so. The idea of being deployed and going downrange without a clear escalation of force and rules of engagement, even after receiving a bolo and identifying the target, is a failure in leadership. In my opinion, this is willful. And that is why, Secretary Austin, that not only do I believe that you should have resigned as a result of this continuation and this path, but I myself perceive this as their election of duty. And I take that very seriously, especially for our armed service members and those who are looking for accountability as a result of this Bosch withdrawal. Based on my perception and having conducted these operations and seeing how political optics was placed above the true military strategy where we should have held Bagram Air Base, held the detention center, had it conducted withdrawal as the way it was supposed to not shut down and entrap Americans by taking over HKI, the commercial airspace, and abandoning thousands of Americans, not to mention our SIV and the friends of those who have fought beside us proudly and honorably, who are being methodically and systematically murdered now, who trusted the American people for 20 plus years, and the increase in suicide rates of American soldiers who spiked over 25 after this failed withdrawal, as a result of them feeling as if they had failed. That is why Secretary Austin, and based on further hearings and investigations, I've already drafted my articles of impeachment for the dereliction of duty. I do feel there needs to be accountability at the top and at the highest levels. And I hope that we can get true accountability with future hearings and investigations and your testimonies that would actually either substantiate or discredit my beliefs. With that, I yield back.
Gentleman's time has expired. Gentleman from Texas, Mr. Vesey is recognized for five minutes.